Alright guys, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited to announce a brand new series for BMG Monster Jam. This is something I came up with eight, nine months ago, and I never really did anything with it. But um I'm now coming back to it. Uh, as I've started to kind of run out of ideas to make my BMG videos more interesting than just, you know, another replica show. So I came back to this idea, uh, made a couple little lineup changes, but nothing much. And so basically this, this video is going to be going over what they are, um, what the lineups are, and stuff like that. Let me see. Okay, so there are eight colors competing. Those colors are red, black, green, orange, yellow, blue, purple, and silver, which with track style is going to be considered more gray. So each color is going to have a team of five trucks. So there's going to be five red trucks, five black trucks, five green trucks, and so on for each color. And then those trucks are going to compete on a track with their color. So if it's the red team, then they're going to compete on a track that has red on it and it's mostly red, but it's a color war, which means that it's going to be two colors up against each other. So let's say it's red trucks, the red team versus the black team. Uh, then it's going to be a team of five red monster trucks against five black monster trucks. And the track is also going to be red and black. Um, and that's how this is going to work until we determine which of these eight colors is the best of them all. It's a bit of an interesting idea. I just kind of thought I would do it. It gets some of the more interesting and uh, overlooked tracks out there. Uh, it leaves opportunity for a lot more of the unique and old trucks. And uh, yeah, so let's go over your lineups and then go over what the bracket is going to look like uh, for these events. So I'm going to start here with Team Red. So the team captain for Team Red is going to be Adam Anderson in the Mud Grave Digger. So the red one, uh, he's going to be in the OG as your team captain. And this is going to be a team to watch out for because alongside him, we have Camden Murphy, Bakugan Dragonoid, one of the heaviest hitters in all of Monster Trucks. Joe Foley and Axe, one that you can't, you can't underrate him. You, you gotta watch out for this guy, and he will beat you if you're not careful. Getting ready for some of the greatest stunts Joe Foley and Axe prepares, as he just kicked off his first Monster Jam season, now he's got something even bigger headed his way. Aaron Basil returns to Monster Jam driving Devastator, and hopes to get some good points for Team Red, and hopefully bring Team Red to the win. And then Travis Mowry in Rockwell Red. Yes, he returns to Rockwell Red after all this time behind the wheel of Velociraptor. He's returning to Rockwell Red here to support Team Red and hopefully bring them some points in this tournament. Going forward, we have your team of Black Monster Jam trucks. And this is, a, this is probably the number one team that you're going to have to look out for if you have hopes of winning here. Because team captain is going to be none other than Ryan Anderson and son of a digger. But it doesn't stop there because every single one of these drivers is someone you're going to have to look out for. Uh, following up to him, we have Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. He will do it all. He is a major dark horse in stadiums, but he is also a fan favorite. And maybe that will play a role into him getting wins for his team. We won't know, but we'll have to see how it goes. Following up is Jamie Sullivan and FTI Twerk, another one you're going to have to look out for. I know she has been racing a little bit differently in Monster Jam, I believe for Team Throttle Monster, but she is going to get back behind the wheel of that FTI Twerk truck out here for the Color Wars back out there. Back in the original ride, we'll see how that goes for Jamie Sullivan. Derek Anson, after many years, is going to drive heavy hitter back in Monster Jam. And he is going to be a heavy hitter to watch out for with that big air, just like Jamie Sullivan. And then we end with a classic Jimmy Creighton, racing too extreme all this time, dropping by into the Monster Jam Color Wars to take Team Black to victory. Going forward, we have your team of green trucks, and this is another one that you're going to want to look out for. As team captain, it's going to be none other than Tyler Meninga in Gravedigger. 
that's going to be scary for a lot of the drivers who are going to have to go up against this tour. He's behind the wheel of Gravedigger 27, which is, mm, I believe, the 2016 Gravedigger from the World Finals. I could be wrong, but I believe that is Gravedigger 27. I do know it's green with some blue and purple on there, though. And Tyler Meniga is going to take that truck to victory. And alongside Tyler Meniga, we're going to have Corey Schneider and Toxic 2.0. Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken. Matt Pagliarulo bringing back the green Jester. And it is also Nick Pagliarulo bringing back the green Kraken. So they're both bringing back some original trucks. And then Jim Kohler and Avenger. An absolute veteran you're going to have to look out for. And everyone on this team is definitely going to be a heavy hitter, especially looking at those independents. I mean, this team only has one fell driver on it, but you can't let those independents get to your head because they will destroy you if you are not careful. And I'm sure even Corey Schneider, who's been out of Monster Jam for a long time, is going to come in with a lot of power. Moving forward, there are the orange trucks, and this one is a bit of a unique team. This is by far the most unique lineup. So, as your team captain, it is Mark List and El Toro Loco looking to get some good points for this team. Mark List not off to the strongest start this year, but I'm sure he will prove that wrong here in the Color Wars Monster Jam races. Following up to that is the biggest surprise, Diesel Dave returns behind the wheel of Bro Camino. Uh, so we'll see what he can get done here for Team Orange. Below that is John Gordon and Bad Company, someone you're going to definitely have to look out for with that brand new World Finals 21 Bad Company. Weston Anderson debuts a monster truck version of Bog Hog past the good old mega truck Bog Hog. He's now made it even bigger, and he's going to be running it with the monster trucks. And then finally, we're going to see Morgan Kane return to the wheel of Grave Digger. Driving the orange grave digger out here, and we'll see how he can do with that. Moving over to Team Yellow, and this is the most interesting team to me. With your team captain being an arena driver, Tristan England and Earthshaker, so that's the first time we've seen that. But he's one you're going to have to look out for at stadiums or arenas. He will get big air, he'll get backflips, he'll get technical moves. But Heavy D and Brodos are also returns to the scene alongside Diesel Dave, but also on the opposite team as Diesel Dave. So we'll see how that goes. Heavy D prepares to get some good points for Team Yellow. Brandon Budden, Wasted Knights, is going to be racing here, uh, which is the first time he's not really racing Monster Jam postseason. This is a Monster Jam subseason, really. And then Bo and Rick Swanson are going to be here driving Wild Card and Obsession. That's going to be an interesting pairing there. Rick Swanson hasn't been in Monster Jam for a long time, and Bo Swanson hasn't really been in Monster Jam at all, so we're going to have to see how they do, but Team Yellow is definitely the most interesting lineup out here. Well, Team Blue is going to be no joke, and this is another team where you're going to have to look out for those independent drivers. As Team Captain, we have Monster Jam veteran Todd LaDuke in Blue Thunder, perfect for Team Blue. He does return to the Blue Thunder truck after driving Megalodon for a hot second. Brianna Mahan and Whiplash returns to the wheel, so hopefully she'll get back to that ragged edge driving that we knew her for, such as in October in Houston in 2019 or at World Finals 20. She is known for some ragged edge saves, and hopefully we will see that return here in the color tournament. We see Chad Tingler come with the hooked monster truck and steve sims with stone crusher so that stone crusher team hopefully those trucks are ready for some tough competition but the rest of the team is going to be here to help them out and hopefully get some wins because eric swanson that obsessed is going to be here as well hopefully getting over those truck troubles we saw a couple years ago because last time he really competed in monster jam he blew a motor and broke a tire rod and had some big, big issues. Hopefully, we will see a little bit better from Eric Swanson. And hopefully, he can get some victory for Team Blue. Well, Team Purple is another one of those teams that is very, very interesting. But also one that you're going to have to look out for. 
team captain is going to be an independent here, which is something that some people might not have expected, but Cole Venard is going to be your team captain behind the wheel of that purple gravedigger where he started his whole career out, well, where he started his big time career and he first made it to the world finals driving that purple gravedigger. And going back to Gravedigger, where he started his whole career, it's going to be great to see how Cole Venard can perform there. Cynthia Gauthier returns with Monster Mutt Domination Galaxy after driving Lucas Stabilizer for a good amount of time. So that's going to be an interesting one to see. But it only gets more interesting as you go down the line. Steven Thompson and Richie Yotsko for Natural Disaster Racing are going to be driving back in Monster Jam again with Hurricane Force and Storm Damage. That is going to be a cool thing to see how that will unfold. And maybe the most interesting of all, Chris Kohler is going to be driving the 2014 Purple Avenger on this tour as we see Jim Kohler out on the green team. Well, Chris Kohler is also going to be driving, and it's going to be two Avengers, but Chris Kohler's driving this Avenger on Team Purple, so that's also going to be an interesting thing to watch out for. But really, Cole Venard is going to be the big heavy hitter here for Team Purple. And finally, we have Team Silver. Team Silver's team captain is Max D's Tom Mentz, who will be celebrating 20 years. He is celebrating 20 years, but he's going back to that good old Silver Max D to hopefully get some good points going here. Corey Rummel and Megalodon is going to be a big one to watch out for, though. Got to watch out for Team Scream. All of Team Scream is going to take you through some very tough competition. Bernard Light returns to Alien Invasion since 2021 after that little accident. Brian Mays and Fast Metal. He's going to be here for Team Silver. This is a long time since we saw Fast Metal, but it looks like the sponsorship is back in and Brian Mays is back behind the wheel. And then finally, we have one more to be announced spot that will be revealed at Team Silver's first event. So you're going to have to watch out to see who that's going to be. And now it is time to take a look at your bracket. So this bracket here is going to, this is basically the order that these teams are going to be going. So Team Purple is going to be taking on Team Yellow here. That's going to be our first competition, so it's going to be a purple and yellow track design, and it's going to be your five purple drivers and your five yellow drivers, and they're going to compete there. And whichever team gets the overall biggest scores in freestyle, so we're going to add up all their freestyle scores, and whoever has the highest scores when they're all added up is going to move on to the next one. And it's going to go so on for red versus silver, blue versus black, and green versus orange. And the most interesting thing here is going to be when a team wins and another team wins, now there's a new setup. So say purple wins and red wins. Now we're going to have to go and make a purple and red track design. And say the blue one wins and the, and the orange one wins. Now we're going to have to make a blue and orange track design. So there's going to be a lot to watch out here for here. Uh... Awesome teams, unique teams, uh, unique track designs. It's going to be a lot to look out for here. But this is the official Color Wars announcement for Monster Jam. I hope you guys are excited because it's starting anytime soon. And it's going to be big. So I'll see you guys then.